Zeeb's a power shot player of the day for you for the second week in a row for all of your tackles. Uh, you actually uh, equaled the record with Jude Bolton with that, mate. I imagine that probably wasn't the first thing on your mind, but fantastic day for you personally. I mean, it's always nice to, to get an indiv individual feat like that, but I think yesterday we were just more happy with getting away with the win um, down in Hobart. I don't think we played our best football by any means, but to come away with four points um, after a tight sort of tussle all day, it was, a, it was a good result, and we looked to build on that this week against Freo. The Demons were pretty impressive as well, but I imagine you guys probably weren't necessarily seeking that attacking game and that high-scoring game. Absolutely not. I mean, you look at the stats and to, to allow our team, any team, to score 130 points against you, you don't win too many games. So we count our, ourselves pretty lucky that we got over the top of them in the end. But, you know, it's something we have to, to have a look at this week and make sure defensively we're on against a good side like Freo. Um, we've got a lot of offensive um, power um, up forward and through the midfield. That If we let them kick 130 points, suggests that we probably won't win the game if that happens this week. I guess there were some encouraging signs in the fact that there were some good defensive acts late in particular. Andrew Swallow's tackling, Ben Cunnington's pressure your own tackling and Lindsay Thomas's effort late was fantastic as well. Yeah, obviously when it's such a tight game as well, it, it comes down to individual sort of efforts, especially in the last 20 seconds of the game. And I thought Lindsay played his role perfectly um, in that last contest. And, you know, obviously the boys were pretty keen to get the win. And it was, a, it was a, you know, a bit of a, I suppose, improvement in the fact that, as Brad said in his press conference after the game, they're probably games we might have dropped a couple of years ago. Um, and that just shows you the maturity of our group and, and, and where we're heading as well. So it's exciting to get the win. Um, but yeah, definitely review that tomorrow and look forward to, to this week against Freo. From a confidence point of view, I imagine that's really important as well. Being 3-zip, it's really good for an early start in the season. Then obviously got a big game against the Dockers this week. Absolutely. I mean, we're not playing our best football, um, and I don't think it's too far away. Um, so it's exciting to be 3-0. I haven't been 3-0 at my time in the club before, but at the same time, you know, as you've seen in the results this year, anyone can beat anyone. So we've got to turn up every week, and, and this week against Freo is no exception. They're going to be um, out to prove a point um, and get their first win on the board. So, you know, we're going to have to be pretty good to, to, to compete with them and to get the job done. Tackling's obviously a big focus for you, mate. The boys probably didn't quite win the contested ball inside, but how important is it for you to be able to have that defensive game and actually be able to stop the opposition? Yeah, obviously we got beaten probably convincingly um, on the weekend inside, which is disappointing on our behalf as inside midfielders and as a midfield group. So when you're losing the ball, you have to try and put pressure on and get the ball back as soon as you can. So that's when tackling comes into it uh, and probably around the ground as well, making sure that you know, you're putting pressure on in the forward half to make sure that teams just can't rebound you outside of defensive 50 and score back the other way. So it's something we hold pretty close to us um, inside the four walls at North Melbourne and, and hopefully we can improve on that again. I guess the other one's just Boomer's performance. Um, he obviously amazes you guys every week. Six goals, his, his record in his career. Yeah, it's taken him a while <laughs> to kick six goals, but um, no, nah, he stands up for us when required and he's been doing it for 20 years, so we expect nothing less from Boomer. Um, high expectations, I know, but he sets them himself and um, he's an outstanding champion of our footy club and end of the game as well, so it's a, it's a great effort. Well done, Zeeb's Power Shot Player of the Day. Thanks very much.